Hi folks, I'm Alex and I maintain the Gradle Play Publisher and Version Orchestrator plugins. So today as part of the Mad Skills series on Gradle and Build APIs, I want to talk to you about using modern Android Gradle plugin or AGP and uh, Gradle APIs to manipulate your Android build artifacts. Uh, so these new APIs heavily focus on providers and improved build performance and correctness naturally fall out of strictly specifying your task inputs and outputs using uh, providers. So starting in AGP 7.0, a set of vastly improved APIs are available for plugin authors to take advantage. And that's you whenever you're writing a Gradle task. So these new APIs offer two big benefits. First, there's API stability. And then second, uh, there's a clean slate for modern modernization. So as mentioned, these APIs all take advantage of providers, and that's a good thing. So I wanted to just touch on API stability again, um, because it's a huge deal. It means that when you update AGP, your plugins aren't just going to randomly break because there was some uh, ABI change somewhere in AGP. So now you can confidently upgrade AGP, and for the most part, your plugins will just continue working as normal. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at the AGP Variant Outputs API. Um, which primarily focuses on letting you specify the version name and version code of your APK or bundle file. So before jumping into that, let's take a look at creating a task that outputs a version name. So all modern tasks uh, these days should be abstract with abstract properties. So Gradle will automatically generate an implementation of your task at runtime and it will instantiate all your properties. And if you use uh, dependency injection, it will give you the right objects you asked for in the constructor. Uh, something to notice is your properties are just going to be instantiated, not configured. You still have to do that. So by default, they'll be configured to null. And then in this task, we're going to use uh, the properties we specified. So in this case, my version name, which is a an output file property. And we're going to write our computation to the file specified in that property. And we don't have to worry about creating the file. Gradle is going to take care of that. And we also don't have to worry about managing dependencies. That's the benefit of using um, properties that are annotated with input or output annotations. Gradle will automatically take care of running tasks uh, that produce your input properties. So this task supports up-to-date checks already. Um, and if we wanted to, we could even make it support cacheable builds by simply adding the at cacheable task annotation. We can now register our task and configure AGP's properties to use our version name. So now let's register our task and configure the output property. The file you pick doesn't really matter, so I just chose uh, the build slash intermediates directory, which is just kind of a dumping ground for stuff that humans aren't supposed to look at. Um, once we've registered the task, we'll get a task provider, and that provider is going to carry the dependency information of the task. So we can simply use the onVariance API from AGP and set its property to our property. And the magic here is that Gradle, since we're using a task provider, will automatically handle running your task. You don't have to worry about setting up dependencies or anything like that. Um, so the benefit of using properties and providers is that the outputs of your task are separate from the task implementation that creates them. And this provides that nice abstraction where we can just set a property on AGP and everything just works. So a quick note about mapping versus flat mapping providers. Um, if you map A to B, the dependency will come from A. But if you flat map A to B, then the dependency comes from B. Alrighty, moving on to the next API, we have AGP's Artifacts API. Um, so this one is super relevant to Gradle Play Publisher because it lets you access things like bundle files and APKs. So for example, you could write a task with an input file and then configure it to use uh, AGP's Artifacts API pulling in the bundle file. Or you could, for example, get the directory with all the APKs. And there's even a way to simply get a list um, of each APK file individually. But we can go even further than that by using AGP APIs that let us arbitrarily modify its build artifacts. So in the example you're seeing here, 
we're able to inject ourselves right into AGP's tasks and modify the manifest after AGP has created it for us, but before it uses it in the next uh, steps of the build. So AGP has four different APIs for doing uh, arbitrary artifact modification. So you have wired with files, which is what the manifest transformation task you're seeing on the right is doing. So this takes as an input your task provider and two properties. One property is supposed to be the input file and the other property is the output file. AGP will give you what it has already created to the input file property and expect you to write out what you've done to the output file property. And then it'll use that output file and scooch it on uh, to the rest of the build. Then you have wired with directories, which does exactly the same thing, but for directories. So you're given an input directory and expected to produce an output directory. And then you have wired with, which has a two param version and a one param version. So the two param version is kind of interesting. It's like a squishification function. So you're given a list of files or directories and then you're expected to combine all of that into either one file or one directory. Um, so where this is useful is, for example, creating a bundle file. So you would be giving uh, you would be given a list of APKs, and then you would be expected to squishify all of that into one uh, bundle file. Finally, we have the most powerful API of them all: the single parameter wired with. Um, it simply takes in one output file. And that means you can do whatever you want to create that output file. So say, for example, you wanted to take over the manifest creation process, you'd simply use the, the single param wired with method, and you would just tell AGP, don't do anything to create the manifest, I'll take care of it, and I'll just give it to you once I'm done, and you can then scooch it along the rest of the build. Um, and you can do this for other artifacts too, basically just doing whatever you want to create them. Um, and yeah, if you want a more detailed description of all of these methods, check out the description. All right, I hope you enjoyed my tip on using modern AGP and Gradle APIs to manipulate your Android build artifacts. Have fun customizing Gradle and AGP to your needs. Bye. <laughs>